going on? Rob Fish here from BikeBandit.com, and every once in a while, there is a product that comes out that redefines what is possible. Not only with materials and function and how it impacts your life, and then all of a sudden they surprise you and go, hey, guess what? It's substantially less money than you thought. I don't want to say that it's cheaper, because cheap is a quality thing, and this is less expensive. Big difference, huge difference. From Scorpion EXO, the SG3 full gauntlet glove. Bunch of sizes, unless you've got like massive paws, you're going to fit in their sizes. And it doesn't matter what bike you're riding, they got a color scheme to go along with it. This thing is awesome. You know my recommendation. Do it now. Get a frosty beverage, because it's going to take a while, because this has got that much packed into this glove. Let's just start. Obviously, it's a full gauntlet glove. That is my wrist and that's my elbow, and that gauntlet goes halfway up my arm. Love it. Main body of the glove is actually going to be cowhide, except for the palm, which is kangaroo, and we'll get into that in a second. But starting up at the cuff, this is actually gonna be TPR, all the way up to the top. You've actually got super fabric. I'm gonna jump into that material in a second, because that's just a gem. But you're gonna notice that you have areas where it's single layer, areas where it's double layer, area where it's accordion and you know panelized, so you can have mobility, perforated sections of it, but let's dive in. Kangaroo on the palm. Kangaroo as a hide, compared to cowhide, has a, a denser molecular structure to it. So what they can do is they can actually make this thinner than the cowhide section, which one makes it lighter, but it obviously it's going to make it thinner, so you get better feel on the levers, better feel on the controls. It's kind of important when you're riding at this glove's mentality's intended pace. What you have, you're not going to just see one layer. Of course, you're going to see extra layers going on in there. In the grip area, this is actually almost even a rubberized panel, and everything is going to be double stitched, just like you would expect on a glove of this caliber. The stitching itself is actually all Kevlar based. Why? Because it used to be that, hey, we we're going to use nylon, and then they uh, figured out, hey, nylon thread, that's a petroleum product, and as it gets hot, it disintegrates, and then next thing you know, there went your sleeve of your jacket, and there went the palm of your glove. So it's Kevlar, handles heat a little be bit better, and it's much more durable. One layer, two layer, three layers, and again, everything double stitched. You're going to see, maybe you wouldn't even have noticed this, but I'm going to bring it to you because this is what I do for you. This is all external stitching on the outside. Not so on the back of the glove because in there that you know dexterity and feel isn't as crucial. But when you're on the controls, one, it's ten times more comfortable because what they do is they take this leather and as it gets to the bottom, they flare it out instead of tucking it in and stitching it on the inside. So you, one, don't have seams inside the glove. So there's no pinch. There's no, hey, what, what is going on there? It's just more comfortable. Really, really well thought out. We're going to talk about, from Knox, the SPS system. You have a very, very teeny tiny bone at the base of your thumb that is part of your wrist. It's what gives you the ability to articulate like we can as a human. However, there's not a lot of material because these bones are tiny and we, when we fall, it's just a human thing. You fall, first thing that happens is your eyes get like this big and you put your hands up. It's just human reaction and we've learned from that. And Knox brings it to you with Scorpion. Those are hard panels. So as you put your hands out, what, what normally traditionally happened is there's that instant of grab where it won't move. This actually slides. That instant of, that second of grab is what will snap your scaphoid. I know people from the racetrack days that two years to heal that little teeny tiny bone because it's constantly moving and you, there's no way to really immobilize it unless they open you and pin you. Again, they thought of it. They're bringing it to you. You wouldn't find this normally in a glove of this price point. No way. It's just not part of the game. We'll start it with a two and keep climbing and that's where you'd usually find that technology. And another cool technology that they're bringing to you is this kind of funky material here. It's called super fabric, and you're going to find it out here on the outside of your cuff as well as on your fingertips. And super fabric, it looks like little tiny 
pixels, like little teeny tiny disks, because that's exactly what they are. And they're a ceramic base, and it was a product initially created for the military and law enforcement kind of SWAT level of, uh, of abuse. And it has basically a higher abrasion resistance than asphalt. That's its intended purpose. It used to be that leather was the benchmark for durability in a slide and crash scenario. Super fabric just takes it that much further. I think it's four times the abrasion resistance of cowhide. It is awesome. And I will give you a warning right now. Do not take these gloves off and just throw them onto your gas tank because you will take the paint off of your bike. It is that abrasive. But when you hit and you go sliding, this will protect the leather itself. Again, durability, crash scenario. We're talking worst case scenarios. You're much more likely to have a, let alone an intact hand, but an intact glove, well thought out. Continuing on that armor motif, we talked Knox SPS, we talked super fabric, and that knuckle system is a TPU knuckle system, so a very hard knuckle, okay? But you notice that it's tapered. It's tapered from your index finger down to your pinky finger. Because if this was this big on the outside, it would be very, very bulbous and pronounced and kind of slightly in the way. So what they've done is they've minimized it. Pat it on the backside and via elasticized panels here and here, you have, it sits literally on its own panel. So you have fantastic articulation. These gloves were brand new when they were sent to us. I took them out of the packaging. I'm a large, they're a large, and they fit like a champ. With those panels, you get the mobility and the dexterity, and it's just well thought out. I just want to make sure that everybody thought, saw that the thumb has super fabric too. There's no skimping on these. The mentality was build it, go yard, and deliver beyond the customer's you know, dreams. Stop dreaming, put it in your cart, let's do it. You'll notice one, two Velcro closures up along the gauntlet. That's where your jacket uh, or your race suit would go. And of course, they have the color to match their podium suit in pretty much every color way. You just look good. You look good, because that's another thing. You have color options that nobody would have ever thought of on a race suit. But now all of a sudden, if you're on the back stretch and uh, you know, all your friends and family in the bleachers are like, I can't see you, but you from Johnny, who's who? They won't miss you, I promise. Double gauntlet closure on the Velcro. Extra flap that covers your Velcro closure. A lot of adjustability to it. And on the other side, that's just an elasticized panel over your wrist. Super comfortable. A lot of perforations in the panels that aren't super exposed. Hey, why not? Get a little bit of breathability to it. This thing is awesome. It's the SG3 from Scorpion EXO. Cowhide, kangaroo, Knox, mm, Kevlar. See how I did that? Nice job, Scorpion. I'm Rob Fish. We're BikeBandit.com. You should put them in your shopping cart. Let's go riding. Maybe you have a question. Please pick up the phone. Give us a call. Send us an email. Click on the support tab. It goes right to the sales guys. You know we're going to ship it for free. I don't know what you're waiting for. Let's do it. Rob Fish, BikeBandit.com, and we love you. So you should like us on Facebook, YouTube, Twitter, and Instagram. Thanks for watching. We'll see you at the track.